Hello everybody, Grips here, and as always, thanks for joining me. Right, if you wanna know how I created that uh, cinematic intro, this is the end result, basically this setup. So let's get moving, I'll show you exactly what I did. So I've added your footage onto the timeline, which I have done already, and the first thing we need to do is then start creating our titles. So I'm gonna use the title track. Let me do something first. Let me go back to the standard or default overlay tracks, but I will show you later on why I'm doing this. So overlay here, but I'm at the title track. I'm gonna type in the name of the movie that I'm creating, and I, I believe I called it The City Skylines. So I'm just gonna do that again. I'm gonna click anywhere on my project, bring it all the way to the start. I'm gonna double click it, and this will bring up this little menu here. You have different options. Go to the font, and all I'm gonna do is center it now, obviously, you can then create the type of font you want. I'm just going to go with this one here. I believe it's called, uh, well, what, what is it? In size 901, fine, whatever. And I'm just going to resize that slightly to make it a little bit more stand out. Again, I will use this a center alignment. These are quite handy because you will always see that it's perfect. Uh, it's, uh, it's not perfect. Let me just, there you go. All right, so you see the crosshairs, the red going left and up and down. These are very, very useful when you start doing multiple uh, layers of font, and I will show you later on what I mean by this. And that's the first one done. Now, here's the problem. I'm gonna be adding multiple layers of uh, font or titles, but Video Studio only gives me two title tracks because even if I go into the title track manager, it gives me only two. So how can we add in multiple title tracks? Glad you asked. You can use the overlay track after you finish making your title and just by click and dragging it onto an overlay track. It's still a title. It still does exactly the same properties. It's just sitting on the overlay tray. You can't do it from the overlay, but you can go from title to overlay. That's enough guest bagging. Let's keep moving. Let's make the next title track. And uh, this time I'm just gonna use the words grips. And as the uh, lead man or now if you're wondering who the jonathan cheeseman actually is he is a uh a valid subscriber and he was the one who gave me this idea to uh do this he basically asked for text to come in stay on the screen and then slowly fade out and if you're going to watch to the end i've got two more cheesy little ideas for you okay there you go and again i will click and drag this to the top and then also what you saw is a uh, you know 10 emmy awards or whatever let's do that again so let's go again onto the title track and then just say award i'm not going to spell the whole thing out because i'm afraid that if i spell emmy award i may get it wrong and then everybody knows the true color of my education i'm going to double click to highlight it again and this one is going to be a little bit smaller because i don't want it to be standing out as much the focus is on the, the center more than anything there you go and then also what i did is i created three little dots and it, it was just a visual thing to break it up you can make it you can't make it it's you can it's up to you but let's leave it like that now we've got a problem here i've only got three overlay tracks i need more no problem i will then add more how easy is that so overlay tracks three let's play it safe and go for seven press ok now, if you use this little toggle switch here, show all visible, if you turn it off, it, uh, it goes to full view, but then you have to use the scroll button here, and that to me is quite annoying. So I leave it ticked on, and here's a little tip, tip for you. If I wheel my mouse over it, it just says exactly what it should say. <laughs> I don't know why. That's something I just found out by accident. All right, so now I've got multiple tracks to work with, which is great because now I'm going to start adding in some uh, PNG files. As you can see, I already added in two PNG files and added it to the project just to speed things up. Let's grab the last one and uh, grab that, drag it underneath, resize it again, like so. Now you'll see the... Uh, guidelines popping up the red ones here and it'll show me exactly if they're in line to the top and the bottom and also in the center if i'm not correct if i move this around enough you, yeah, you got center and that gives you a very good way to tell you if you're in line with everything else and obviously yes now here's something interesting let's say for instance you want to resize or do anything you want those guidelines back 
and I'm talking about that yellow box with the nodes around it. If that does not happen, don't panic. Click on your footage, left click on your footage, I should say, and then just check resize modes. I don't know why sometimes they disappear because it happened to me and then I figured that out. All right, now what we need to do is we need to move all this about 20 frames forward. Now we can do that one by one, but we could also do that as a group. So that would be easier. So click on the first one, hold down your shift key, and then just click on everything that you want to group. Obviously all of it, and then left click, and then we're gonna go, sorry, right click, grouping, and then hit the group. Now what this allows is quite handy. Let's click up here or anywhere else onto the timeline. Now all the footage is not highlighted. All I gotta do is just click on any one of them and they all come up as a group. This allows me then to move it all forward. So I'm just gonna move it 20 frames forward. This is slightly different to the ripple edit. This allows you to move the footage as a group. Now I'm gonna click it again and ungroup it, okay? What I need to do now is create the fade on effect. The fade effect is very, very simple to do. However, it is different from the text track compared to the PNG files. The text track, we can use a transition and I use the cross fade transition. So I will just apply that to the beginning of each of my text clips. And that will then make it so that the it, it fades from absolute nothing onto the titles. And here you go, that looks nice. And now we need to do the same for the PNG file, but like I said, it is different. Double click, you'll see here the emotion track, basic emotion enter, use this one here, fade in motion, do the same for all of them. And then that should be perfect. Let's have a quick look at that. And now everything comes on screen, stays there for a while and then disappears. And then last thing I did was then created one more title track. And obviously it's up totally up to you how you wanna do this. You can add as many in as you want. So, and then I just made this another Grips production. And I uh, I think I did this. Production. I hope I spelt that wrong. I uh, write, I should say. <laughs> Not wrong. And the same thing. I can leave it here because it doesn't really matter. And then again, I use the uh, text effects, the cross fade. I'll drop that in here. And I m might move that a little bit closer because it should... What I had done, I actually did it to the beat of the music. So you could do the same. So it'll go, oh, unable to load library. That's okay. I'm not after the library anyway. And there you go, Griff's production. And that's it. And then obviously the last thing I did is I chose the right type of music that I want to use. And I used anything from the internet that I could find, a cinematic trailer. Easiest way to, to make this the right length. You click on this one and then you use this one here hold it to the last end of your track and that gives you the perfect place to slice your video and that my friends should give you exactly what you're looking for now stick around if you want i'm going to show you two more little cheesy for jonathan cheese man cheesy effects so if you're still at the end of the video watching me these are two more that i came up with let's do that basically crash and then it fades out and then the next one and then that fades out as well so if you are interested in how i did these leave a comment in the comment section and if there's enough request i will definitely do a tutorial on those and as always thanks for watching